What's up dudes, Chooch, bringing y'all a new video and we are going to be talking about some new wheels. So I'm going to kick off a new series and we are going to be looking at all of the new releases of unicycles because man is this an exciting time to be in this hobby. It always, always comes through and has just incredible wheels released when you don't expect it. So look up here, we have the veteran Abrams. This unicycle right here is going to be the new version of the one that I'm currently riding on right now. And the Veteran Sherman, this is that unicycle, uh, the Veteran Sherman, and it has been incredible, man, for road riding, for off-roading, everything in between. Man, I've had this thing across this country, trail riding, doing all kind of cool stuff with it. I love this wheel. The range on it is great. It's fast. And uh, the only problem really with this thing, dudes, is, is people sending it big, big heavy guys combined with a, you know, a heavy wheel. And then with a low air pressure, you were getting some um, dented rims in there. And see, that's just one thing that's going to happen, man. Because like, if you're riding something like this with no suspension on it, you got to really be careful. You got to make sure your transitions are clean. You got to make sure you hit that speed bump. Then you're going to hit the down side of that speed bump and not just spike it hard. You know, you got to make sure if you're hitting a jump that you don't really case that jump, you know. And it's not really like a dirt bike where it's forgiving where you have all that suspension in there. So with the new unicycle coming out, this veteran Abrams, um, one thing that I look at, you know, in the rendering that um, I haven't really heard anybody else talk about is the entire rim looks like it's going to be a solid rim, guys. And what I mean by that is right here in this video of the veteran Sherman, the one I'm currently riding on, you can see there's some spokes in there. And if you look at the smaller unicycles guys like the m10 the king song 16s a lot of those 16 inch unicycles even that in motion v12 looks a little bit funny because it doesn't have those spokes in there i think the spokes look really good from the side looking at the wheel but the thing is see right here see what i'm talking about this is you see how that's a solid solid wheel all the way around from the motor to the end part I think that's going to be a lot better design at the end of the day, guys. And I think that rendering right there is pretty much a re positive reference of how the actual thing is going to be. And I think they're just going to go with a full solid design in there. And that's going to create an extremely rigid, solid wheel that we'll probably have no problems with dented rims on. You know, I can tell you that much. Because you can send, man, those little... I had a buddy, he rode a, a King Song, um, or no, it was a, a Tesla. He had, like, no air in this thing, dude. He was riding it with a completely flat tire on a dirt bike track, just sending it, man. And, yeah, he ended up tearing the rim up. But what he did, man, the jumps he was hitting, everything, they were like, dude, you have no air in your tire, bro. Like, what? You, like, you know what I mean? So, um, what I'm basically saying is with the full entire solid design, the dented rims are going to be completely obsolete with a new wheel and that's one thing I'm looking forward to and if you are, are riding a Sherman out there guys mine has been fine I've hit speed bumps I've hit potholes I've jumped this thing like I've really shredded it hard guys and the thing is as soon as I started seeing those posts I was like okay I'm gonna just ramp up my PSI rocket at like 31 32 on this thing that's what I've kept it at, dude. So if you're riding your Sherman, man, 31, 32 for somebody up to like 130 pounds. If you're over 150 pounds, bump that PSI up, guys, 35, 36. I'm not kidding you because at the end of the day, I don't know what it is, man. You just got to you gotta learn. So you're riding a unicycle, bro, and it's tricky as hell. And if you're going trail ride with it, you know, you really can't go with as low of air pressure as you could with a dirt bike. And so you're just going to have to learn to ride it like that unless you won't want to have some like problems, you know, in the future. You have to bend your knees, you know, unless you're riding a King Song S18 or you're getting a, riding a V11 or a wheel with suspension like the uh, B-Goat EX, then you're going to have to um, just adapt your riding style to it. That's the best thing I can say. Or either wait on one of these new wheels like the King Song S20, which I'm going to be doing a video on next. Um, check that wheel out there's actually pre-orders live right now on e-wheels guys for the king song s20 that's going to be king song's brand new wheel that comes out and it looks fire i'll go ahead and throw in a little picture right here in this video about it it looks really really good i think it's going to have suspension on it too so go ahead and use the link below 
and put in that one. All you got to do is put in 100 bucks in. I might go ahead and put in my 100 bucks in too to reserve it, uh, just to reserve an extra one. Um, just it's only a hundred buck, only a hundred dollar pre-order. Usually they're five hundred bucks, but they're taking a hundred dollar pre-orders right now. They get your name on one, so you know, use that link below, guys. It, I think it'll still help me out. I'm not too sure. I hope it does. But anyways, check it out, dudes. Um, that's from E Wheels. I'm really expecting a lot from the King Song S20, Veteran Abrams, and then the Extreme Bull. The um, Extreme Bull is a new wheel coming out, and I I've got some some information on that i want to do a separate video on it and just talk about you know some different specs on that and then have some imster pro footage with it but you can see right here at e-rides they're already taking deposits on the veteran abrams and so if you want to go ahead and put in your deposit for the abrams or wherever they have it i think they have it at a alien rides and e-rides if you click down below guys i'm just i'm trying to help y'all out uh, use use the links though if y'all can and put in your pre-orders if you do go ahead and get one of these early pre-orders on the Abrams I know there's gonna be a few of you guys out there that are hardcore they want to go ahead and get that in and you know you will be on one of the first ones to get it so so this new wheel is gonna be a 22 inch wheel as opposed to the Sherman which is a 20 inch wheel and so just a little bit bigger and it's going to be 116 volts so it's going to be a fast wheel. They're saying this, they're predicting this thing to go up to 60 miles an hour, dudes, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, 2,700 watt hour battery capacity on it. And I know a lot of people out there, are, you know, like saying, why in the world would Sherman go down? You know, because the one I'm riding on right now has 3,200 watts of battery capacity. The thing is, these are 18,650 cells in here. The new one's going to be using the new uh, 21,700 cells that are the Samsung cells. And, you know, even though it is less battery capacity on it, guys, my whole thing is if we can shave, like, a little bit of weight in, in the battery cells, you know, with a, a bigger motor, I'm thinking the weight might nearly be the same, okay? And I think one of the reasons they may have done this whole battery thing where they reduced a little bit of battery wattage in there, which I'm not too worried about, guys, because listen here, I'll give it to you in, like, one sentence. Uh, on most rides... I'm not going to run it all the way down dead. And so just being able to you lose from 3,200 to 2,700 watt hours does not bother me at all. Because I ride the V-Goad EXN all the time. That's my daily driver. And dude, I can ride that thing for way more than I would want to on an average day. And man, you have to take, like, if you're trail riding it, really getting down on that thing and you know, just pushing it. You can ride all day long on a 2700 watt hour wheel, guys. And, you know, I think with that bump in there to 116 volts, a lot of guys are like, well, you know, there's going to be more voltage in it. It's going to be using up more power. Uh, you know, why would they reduce the freaking watt hours if there's going to be more power um, potential there? You know, like you're going from 100 to 116 volts, this thing's going to be sucking down that power. And, dude, I really don't think it's going to be as bad as you think. I think it's going to be perfect. I think it's going to be a, a happy medium between weight, a larger wheel. I think it's going to have all the features you're going to want. I think it's going to have high-quality headlights, high-quality tail lights. What's also sick on this, guys, is the mud guard on it. It comes with a freaking mud guard. Look at this. I think this is from my, all my complaints of all this time and all the ghetto rigging I've done on the back right here. Um, if there's one thing that I can say that I've probably contributed to, it's the new design on the mud guard on this veteran Sherman. So there's a full roll bar that comes around. It comes with a mud guard that's fully integrated on the back, guys. And it even can be a kickstand. It's a perfect kickstand. And it looks like a robust one. You don't have to, you know fandangle with or nothing like that you can just tip it back and that kickstand looks like it's going to work it's going to be robust not give you a problem and the whole roll bar on this thing looks super super sturdy it doesn't go under the whole wheel like it did before and so one thing where it went under that wheel uh that's why i don't like riding the veteran sherman on super rocky trails because those rocks will snag those roll bars that go under those pedals these roll bars don't go under the pedals so this is actually going to be a better design, I think. If they reinforce this into the shell properly, and all this is, is all this is done right, 
which it looks like it, it looks solid. The chevron design on the side of those panels, guys, that's just going to give more uh, reinforcement on that plastic right there. You know, if you got a flat panel, it's just kind of like um, with cement, why they put rebar in cement, you know, it's kind of more, re offers more rigidity to it. So that chevron design in there, even though it may, might not be your aesthetical pleasing, it probably is going to be reinforced, um, a reinforcement uh, type feature. And with power pads and stuff like that, um, yeah, they're going to be a little bit harder to put on this, but like we've seen in the past, uh, all the guys that make the, the power pads and the printouts and stuff like that for them and 3D print the aftermarket accessories, they just get the, the measurements and whatnot, and they'll adapt to this, and they'll print something that fits right in there, and you may just have to, you know, cut your Velcro a little bit differently, but I, I mean, I think the power pads will fit right into that little insert in there, and they'll actually be, it'll be better because it'll be kind of recessed in there and be able to grab a little bit better, you know, and not just be on a flat surface. It'll kind of be able to get in there and have something to kind of set seat into. So looking at this thing, man, I'm excited about it, dude. And the veteran um, Sherman, like this wheel has been not only great, it's been such a, a great wheel for me, at least, um, that I baby it, man. I really do baby this wheel. And... Um, I think this new one's just going to be uh, stellar. And you can, from, from what I see right now, you can pre-order it down below from E-Rides. I think you can pre-order it from Alien. Uh, no, you can't. You can order pre-order it from E-Rides. And pre-order should be live soon. Uh, if you're seeing this uh, a little bit later than the upload date, the pre-orders should be live on E-Wheels as well to get this bad boy. But anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I'm going to bring some more content about this wheel very soon. See y'all in the next one. All right, guys, so I was just about to upload this video. I just checked E-Wheels, and the S20, the Veteran Abrams, and the Extreme Bull Commander, three new unicycles with just, you know, a little bit of information out there on the table right now, but they are looking to be very very impressive unicycles guys the extreme bull commander i'm going to do a full video about that one because i'm really really excited about that one in particular but i just want to let you guys know you can put a 100 dollars deposit down on any three of them and they've never done just a 100 dollars deposit it's usually been like 500 dollars to reserve it but you can take a pick of the three i'm going to have a specific video on the extreme bull commander and one as well on the King Song S20, and we're going to be looking at those and having an actual video for this specifically on the S20 and one specifically for the Extreme Bull, just like I did for this one, which was supposed to be just for the Abrams, but I wanted to let y'all know that everything is out right now, and you can place your pre-order at E-Rides and at E-Wheels right now for the Veteran Abrams. And then if you want the Extreme Bull, you can place a pre-order for that one over at E-Wheels and also at Alien Rides. I think that clears everything up. I'll see y'all in the next one.